What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today we have a beginner upper body workout at Planet Fitness, AKA chest, shoulders, and triceps. If you guys want to see more of this content, make sure you smash that subscribe button and destroy that like button. But first, you are going to need a foam roller. You can find them basically at any Planet Fitness you go to, so or any gym. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna place your shoulder blades in the, on the foam roller. Then you're going to extend Extend your arms back and just extend nice nice stretch and come back to center you're, you're gonna give me five of those make sure we are warming up that thoracic spine emphasizing the curvature of that thoracic spine making sure we are warming up the spine for all the workout and movements that we're going to do today Awesome, nice job. So now what we're gonna do is a front deltoid stretch. So this is an area that can get very tight throughout the day. When you work, when you sit 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, you're here all day, we really wanna try and get you back to here, good posture, not internally rotated or shoulders rotated in, but we wanna get you back to external rotation and we can strengthen this area and stretch your front delt as well. So we're just gonna come up on a pole here and you're just gonna stretch your out, your front delt is gonna have your arms straight, elbow maybe slightly bent. And you're just gonna keep your back straight and then you're gonna twist, you're gonna push into that front delt and you're gonna push into it. It's gonna really get a nice stretch in that front delt. You're really gonna get a nice stretch. It's gonna twist and this is gonna be pretty intense for a lot of y'all. So I want you to just really focus on your limits and where you can go. Hold this for one set, 30 seconds each side. So now what we're going to do next is internal external rotations to warm up our rotator cuff. So you're going to have your the dumbbells at 90 degrees and you're going to rotate in and you're going to come back using your rear delts or your, the back of your shoulder to pull your dumbbells back to 90 degrees. So it should be here, your bubble should be still. Do this for 30 seconds, making sure that dumbbells stay, stay in, in place, chest stays square, core tight. So roughly 30 reps, 30 seconds, giving me a nice controlled posture, nice controlled motion. So oftentimes our rotation in our shoulders is not great because we sit, we are always front facing. So our external rotation can be limited and our internal rotation can be, well, tight as well. So both areas can be tight. So this can really help with loosening up our shoulders. Give me two sets, 30 seconds, 30 seconds each time. But, okay, so next is gonna be face pulls. Now you might be uh, asking yourself, why are we working back when we should be warming up our chest and our shoulders, right? And we're working chest and shoulders today and triceps? The answer is yes. But what you want to actually know is we live in a forward facing society. And a lot of times we fold forward and we wanna strengthen the posterior chain or the back chain. That way that when we bench, we're in a better position where we aren't really here, we're here, we're playing more. So that when, when we do bench, when we do press, we're in a better position. So I want you to just grab the rope. Your thumbs should be planted on the bottom. So I want you to grip it. Your uh, fingers are gonna be facing toward each other and then you're gonna turn out. And you're gonna put one foot back over four. It shouldn't be heavy, it should be lightweight. It's gonna pull to the forehead and you're gonna slowly relax. So you can do this standing or kneeling, either whichever one you prefer. It's a little bit tough on your knees when you do that, but whatever floats your boat, it's fine with me. So you're gonna give me two sets of 15 reps. That way, I want you to hold for a long period of time too. And when we activate these rear delts, you're gonna notice you have a lot better posture. You can stand up a lot better as you move forward with your workout. Guys, now first exercise is a Smith Machine bench press. I woke up to a weight that works well for me, but you do you. So I want you to do, try and do eight to 10 reps here. Go like somewhat heavy, moderate to heavy here. So this is our compound movement of the day. If the goal is just, you know, keep in the middle, I want you to go in the middle, 10 to 12 reps is pretty good. But this is a weight that works for me here. So I'm gonna do about 10 reps here, 10 to 12 reps, depending on how I feel. So. You want your ring finger uh, on the slit here, or your pinky finger, either one that, whichever one works best for you. So you're gonna come, I want your butt on this end of the bench here. If there's no bench here, you can roll one up. So you're going to come and plant your pinky finger on the slits here. You're gonna have 
your chest directly underneath the bar since it is a spin machine you're gonna unrack it and you're gonna come down to your upper chest so okay and if, if there's still too little, so this is still a little bit too far up here for me so i want to move back a little more you want it to anything about middle to upper chest the bar so let's get it down press it up the breath in press it out but then You don't want your back coming off the bench. You want to stay planted, feet planted too on the ground. Three or four sets of that. Whew. This is how guys, this is nice job. And the next workout is going to be a chest fly. You're gonna have your hands on the handles, okay? And you can go no fingers or fingers, but what we're gonna do is you're gonna plant your feet, you're gonna have your back strip on the machine. You're gonna have a comfortable weight for you, not too heavy to where you can't do it, but heavy enough, right? You're gonna come. You're gonna fly in, squeeze that chest, gonna hold it, and then come back slow. Okay, very, very slow. Come in again, squeeze, come back slow, and come in, squeeze, come in so back slow. And you do this for 15 reps. Let me see if I can to work out. Man. Mm, two more. Mm. Oh, let's go, man. It's a little hot in here. Hoodie. So this is gonna be three to four sets. I prefer the four more than the three, but if you're just starting out, three sets, 15 reps, get to it. Find a weight that's comfortable for you, challenging, but doable. Hi guys, now time for shoulders. So we have our shoulder press machine here and we're gonna use this. So what you wanna do is we're not gonna face forward, we're gonna face backward. And you wanna get more of the rear delt. So you going to plant your butt on the seat, you have your arms at 90 degrees and you're gonna press up. You're gonna push through the pressing movement, that makes sense. So push through your elbows, you're gonna to come to about, so the, the bar will start a little bit past uh, 90, about 45 degrees. You're gonna push up. The handles and come down slow control that weight pausing for a second up again deep breath out deep breath in breath out should be a nice movement you're gonna give me 12 to 15 reps here that's any movement ah. should be a good weight too oh man oh. Mm. I'm gonna have you some going 12 15 or so don't stop my car to do more. Oh man. Oh. So shoot. That is I did small press because that's one little heavier there. If you want to too, you can superset this exercise for side raises or just do this for three sets of small 15 reps. Grab my buffer now. <laughs> Guys, now we're gonna hit some raises with the cable so I want you to grab so this cable is going to be the, in the opposite hand so if on the, it's on the right side it's going to be in the left hand and you're going to do the same thing on the other side I, I prefer to not use handles but you can use you want if you're not going to use handles I recommend you grip the handle on the cable not on the actual uh, handle itself so I want you to just come here you're going to face the mirror and you're going to have your elbows slightly bent you're going to come raise up through your shoulder blades, you know, keep your elbows slightly bent, you're gonna squeeze the top, and come down slow, okay, a little, a little more. But, and you'll need to adjust yourself as you do this, but come up again, squeeze the top, come down, so give me like a three count way down, it's gonna burn so much, man. This is burning already. So it's gonna be 10 to 12 reps. Oh, man. Let me do my thing, man. <laughs> It. and go light here if you can't do this do this with dumbbells same thing <laughs> two and a half pound plates oh man so now we're gonna hit triceps so we're gonna stay right here at the cables 
and you're gonna need a rope. So what the rope does is we're gonna do a extension. So you're gonna grip the rope, you're just gonna hang onto the rope here, and you're gonna have your chest up. You're going to stand about a foot from the pole, the metal pole, and you're gonna have your head up, you're gonna have your shoulders back, you're gonna have your elbows in, and your elbows stay in the whole time. So you're gonna come press down, pull through your elbows, separate the rope at the bottom, squeeze, and you're gonna follow through all the way up until your elbows, your arms reach about a 45 degree angle. Up, down again, squeeze the bottom. Keep constant tension on those triceps too. What really works the triceps here is when you separate at the bottom. When you separate here, that's what really gets to working. But if you just come here, not as much as an activation. I don't even see from here, the difference from right there, it's a massive difference. So once again, I'll at the 45, nice and slow control, separate. This is going to be 12 to 15 reps here. Three to four sets. If you're a beginner, for kind of like a first time in the gym, trying to gain muscle mass, I recommend three sets. If you're more experienced, doing this for a little bit, four should be plenty. All right, now this is the last tricep workout. These are called lying tricep extensions. What you should do is lie on your back. You're gonna bring the dumbbells up. So you're gonna have them over your face, or your eyes, or your nose. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your elbows in place. And I want you to bring the dumbbells back, kind of like you're keeping your elbows in place and kind of like you're bringing these, these dump, the head of the dumbbell to your skull. You're gonna touch the ground, freeze for a, for a second, then come back up again. So the, you may need lighter weights for these. You're gonna keep your legs also at 45 degrees and you're gonna make sure you're going at a good pace. If you feel elbow pain at any time during these, stop, stretch out your forearms, and try someone else, either that or you can do an extra set of the rope extensions that I showed you earlier. And come down and you're gonna pause once again, up and squeeze the top, oh man. So you wanna keep these dumbbells relatively close to each other. You wanna keep those elbows in, oh man, it's burning. So you wanna do about 15 reps to one and 10, oh gosh, dude. So you wanna do about 15 reps to those, about 12 to 15 depending on you know, how you feel and what you did prior to this. So if you did like the rope extensions, then I want you to do three or four sets. If you're a beginner, once again, three sets. If you're more uh, experienced, more advanced, four sets should be plenty with these. This is one of my favorite tricep exercises. I wanted to show this with you guys because it's great. I think you'll get a lot of benefit out of this. We're gonna end the workout with a little bit of core. So I want you to lay on the mat. Back's gonna be on the mat. And then what you do is I want you to do flutters. We're gonna go 100 flutters. So you're gonna have your legs out straight. You're gonna count each time the right leg comes up. Two, three, four, five, six. Give me a hundred of these. Okay, and if you're gonna do Russian twist, you have a med ball or a weight, whichever one you prefer. You're gonna take the med ball. And so if you cannot keep your legs up in the air like this, you're gonna put like, your legs down and keep your back tilted at a 45 degree angle. You're gonna touch the ground. And they give me 20 per side. I'm gonna keep my legs up off the ground now. Halfway. Ah. Ooh. You do it for three sets, by the way. Okay, guys, and that concludes our workout. Now we're gonna foam roll our upper back once again, our thoracic spine. You're gonna make sure you have the foam roller on the ground. You're gonna put it in between your scapula. Ah, that was great, doesn't it? Extend out. You can just hold it here for a little bit. And come back up again. Come back down again, extend, keeping your neck straight, not straining your neck at all. And then you're gonna give me three times, three or five times, you can do three times. After you're gonna come onto your lap, just under your armpit, you're gonna foam roll that latissimus dorsi, that's a massive muscle on your back that controls posture. You're gonna foam roll that latissimus dorsi, you're gonna give me five each side, nice small rolls. And if you want to, you can hold it on a side that also feels tight too. Now this will be a tight feel you guys, so make sure that you go slow, control the movement, and don't push yourself too much to where your body does not like it. Other side. Uh, comment down below how you guys how you guys workout was. That was an awesome workout. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed spending time with you guys. Of course, you guys are my fam. It's awesome. Alright, we got one more stretch to do, and that is the straight arm stretch for the front delt. Okay, just gonna place your palm on some sort of polar surface, you're gonna twist out, hold this for about 30 seconds, 
Oh yeah, it feels nice. Hopefully that's how you can get work out today. I know I did. Uh, it was great, man. Get that front bell stretched out. It was awesome. Hope you guys are having an awesome rest of your day. I don't know what you guys have planned, but I know that you killed it today. You killed it. Absolutely killed it today. Great job, guys. Count myself, by the way. <laughs> Good, nice. On the other side, that probably was not 30 seconds, but close enough, right? <laughs> I'm just. Oof, my muscles are just gonna be sore tomorrow after this workout. My shoulders are toasted. Oh yeah. Right in that front down, man, yes. And yeah, it's just a great to get a nice sweat in. It's great to get a nice workout in. It's just, just an amazing feeling, guys. I mean, you got endorphins running, you got everything. It's just the best thing in the world. I mean, I I love sharing this, sharing this experience with you guys, and I, and I really hope that you, you do it with me. You know, I really hope that you try out this workout, and you are all with me because if you do, you will have a massive reward at the end. And even during too, it's, it's a lot of fun doing it too. It's a lot of fun doing it. Awesome. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, a quick shout out to Tomboy T85. Tomboy T85, I appreciate you so, so much for watching. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your kind words. If you guys want the opportunity to be shouted out when my future videos, make sure you smash the subscribe button and destroy the like button. I shout out a random subscriber every single video, so you do not want to miss that. Also, if I don't subscribe, so make sure you all do that. So hit that big red button. I will eat all your pancakes. Literally, no syrup at all, no syrup, just plain pancakes, and you do not want to see that, okay? But anyways, also, syrup will, even if there was syrup, it would not be sugar free. Well, honestly, the, that doesn't really matter, but I appreciate you guys all so much watching. I will see you all in the next video.